Warning, this game is rated M for sexual themes and strong language. Viewer discretion advised. Those flying bastards stole my eye. They torment me incessantly. I can't leave here without it. I'm trapped for eternity. Get me back my eye, and I'll take you to the tower. Over here, flying bastards! Come! Hello everybody, I'm Gamester522 yeah, and welcome back way. to more Devil May DMC Devil May Cry. So, we're now here on mission number 8. So, we gotta chase some harpies down. There you go. And not get hit by the train, of course. Going down a subway rail. I like trains. You have to be thinking that when this happens, like seriously. I like trains. Alright, here's the first batch of enemies. Now, I did fail at this mission on my first attempt due to the fact that environmental kills, like, killed my style points. So what I'm going to do is that, what I try to do is I try to kill them without I try to kill them without uh, without them being near the uh, subway rail with the near the subway because if they're near it then uh, if they're near it then they'll just die instantly and I don't want that because if I if I if I kill them environmentally I'm not really getting any style points out of it so that's why I'm kind of like fighting them off to the side so that way the train doesn't hit them. Got some normal stingians and devil trigger. Completely annoying. Considering they can't flinch. Well, you can flinch from that. And we just also got normal knight. He's dead. Another stingy. And now we just got ravagers and elite stingians now. Start juggling with Osiris, because we all love that. And then follow up with a quadruple shredder. All but one flew in the train unit. Go ahead and kill that guy off. Now it's time to fight two Dream Runners. Yeah. This is where a difficulty curve hits you out of nowhere. You thought dealing with one Dream Runner was bad? Try dealing with two. Well, actually, dealing with one Dream Runner isn't bad, but dealing with two Dream Runners, the difficulty jumps so high it's ridiculous. See, I tried to use my double trigger to kill one of them off. I managed to kill that one by hitting him into the train, so now I just gotta like get my style points out off on this one. I did I mean I like I said I couldn't afford environmental kills for the sake of my style points, but at the same time, I have at the same time two dream runners, for me that's really, really hard to manage. And he's counting my hits every time I knock him away. But he's dead anyway. Get some health over there. Some green orbs. More like sh enemy, like shard, demon shards, or whatever they're called. I don't, I don't remember. No, get back here. Well, they're the harpies, and more demon shards. Nothing our revenant can't do about it. The nest. That's gotta be it. Why am I doing this for a crusty old demon? Oh yeah, that's why. 
Got it. You must be the eye. Should have seen this coming. An ambush. You flocking bastards. All right then, so time to deal with these harpies and pa and sooner I believe pathoses and bathoses will spawn too. But the thing is though, what's hard about fighting these things is that um what's hard about fighting these guys is because like when it, whenever something lands on the grass, whether it be you or an enemy, the grass the glass breaks. And not to mention the glass will also break if you stand on it too long as far as I'm aware. So it's kind of scary. Pretty much the only way you can fight these get this the safest place to stop falling to fight these guys is here on the uh, on the center platform. But even then, with all the amount of flying crap that's trying to attack you, and the fact that you can't really keep them all on, you can't keep any of them off the screen, so they won't attack. It's really difficult to kind of manage that. So yeah, stupid bathoses. Harpies. This is one of the reasons why I hate dealing with harpies like this. Because if they get me in an enclosed area, it makes it harder for me to fight them. Especially if there's more than one. As well as along with the different enemies such as these bathoses. See, I can't even, like, attempt to attack because those bathoses kept shooting their freaking stupid, uh, missed bombs. No, but it's not over yet. Now it's time for Pathoses. Get an unintentional perfect evade there. I fall like a retard. Now my life's low and I'm freaking the hell out. Well, at least they're dead. Well, at least they're dead. That was a cracking good fight. More like that was a crack of a fight. Whatever. What I say makes no sense. Alright. Now we just gotta head back to... Now we just gotta head back to that guy. And look what we got. We already got a witch and a butcher. Of course, typical, typical deal with here. Kill the witch first. Managed to get a perfect evade there, which I'm glad I got it when I did. Now I'm freaking out because I know if that butcher hits me or the witch hits me, I'm dead. So, so I went ahead and reflect all three of the swords uh, the witch throws at you. Now it's time for me to kill this thing. Still didn't get it. Now I'm trying to keep the butcher off the, off the screen. That way it doesn't attack me. Because once the butcher hits me, I'm dead for sure. And that's dead. I got some green orbs out of the witch, so I felt more yeah, so I felt more com more uh, comfortable. We all know how to fight butchers. Not all that hard. And it's dead. Now it's time now to continue heading back. Two elite stingians here, just out of the blue. I might as well have fun with these guys. Get trillion stabs off on one. And let's have fun with Shredder. Why not? Got some green orbs from that elite stingy in, so my health's pretty much almost halfway, so I feel comfortable with where my life's at right now, so I don't have to worry about dying the next time I get hit, like I always do. Now, this is going to be the last batch of enemies. So right here we got a Tyrant and a Dream Runner. Quite a combo. 
I have this trick work every time. I use my devil trigger to try and do as much damage as I can to the uh, dream runner, and then once, and then once, and then once the dream runner's back on the ground, I stay close to it, and I just, I just let the, I just let the tyrant run into the thing and kill it because the amount of damage I was able to do the devil trigger lower its life enough for that run in that ram with that, uh, that ram with that butcher to like completely kill it. Now I'm just trying to juggle kill this uh, butcher, this uh, tyrant, but that didn't go well. I kept calling it a butcher just a second ago, didn't I? Ah, uh, whatever. Horrible attempt at a perfect evade, but still. And that's it. Very short mission, not a whole lot to it. Except for two Dream Runners. That'll catch you off guard. Who's there? It is I. The eye. You have it? Have you? I can see. I can see. Dante. You know me? No. I knew your father, Sparta. I can see him in you. Sparta was a demon. I'm nothing like him. No, of course. You are Nephilim. I can see that too. What are you? Phineas. Scholar. Inventor. Prophet. Demon. And until you arrived, political prisoner of Mundus. I am grateful. It wasn't a favor. You said you'd take me to that tower. Of course, my friend. Of course. This way. Mission 8. Not a hard mission, except for the two Dream Runners. That's probably the only difficulty you'll have on this mission. I don't, I don't know what to rate this run compared to my other ones, because this is just one of those missions that I overlooked. But, I mean, I didn't feel like I did... I felt like I didn't do bad, but I didn't do, like, good either. But anyway, there's the Triple S, and I'll see you guys on the next mission. Thanks for watching.